Okay, so this is my second attempt at Adventure 9, and in the beginning it was awful. I thought I should have just restarted, but I didn't. I kept going, and this is where I'm at. Uh, Thorgrim just finished his turn, doing his stuff. I think he killed a wraith that was over here using healing or er, Lance of Faith. Right now there's only three hit points left on the start tile. I have killed 14 monsters, and as you can see there's a skeleton and a monster token, a gargoyle, two monster tokens, a monster token, and two monster tokens. So I've got to kill six monsters in order to win this. So right now it is Emerald's turn. He has a fireball left, that's the only daily power or utility power left with either of them. So he is going to try to flip over these and then do the fireball and hopefully kill a bunch of stuff. But I have no idea what that could be. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll move him here. When he enters this... Oh, before I do that, I found out... A lot of people were talking online about it. They were saying that instead of one single... Like, if I was going one, two, three, I would not activate... like. I wouldn't flip a monster token, place another, and then flip it on the next square that I move. The way they said to do it is one entire action movement. So he can move up to six for his for one movement. So that'd be one, two, three. If he was here, he could go one, two, three, and end it, and only flip things that are adjacent or on this t tile. So that makes a lot more sense because with one square, I'd be overrun like I was in the last video. And, oh, that sucks. So, I will go one, two, three, four, five. When I end my movement on this tile, these two monster tokens will flip. So it's a one and a two. I have run out of monster tokens to, to put the place down, so what I get is what I get. Ugh, I keep drawing skeletons and he already controls one. So I got a Blazing Skeleton, a Spider, and a Cobalt Skirmisher. So I'm going to Fireball as my attack for the turn. It is going... Oh, I should actually put the guys on the, the tile. Where's the Spider and the Skirmisher? So it automatically kills the Spider and the Skirmisher, because if it misses, it does a damage. So that's two monsters dead. Then... I get to draw a treasure card. Your hero regains a hit point. That's helpful right now. Then I will roll for the Blazing Skeleton. 12 and 7 is enough to kill it. So that's another dead monster. And I will roll for the Gargoyle. Ooh, 5. 5 and 7. Uh, 5... 5 and 7 is 12, and then I have Ring of Accuracy, which would make it 13, but the Gargoyle is 16, so I'm going to use my Lucky Charm to re-roll, and hopefully not miss. Ooh, 20, that's excellent. I am going to level up on this attack, so flip this, get 2. Spin the 5 to level up. I get a daily power, which I will take the lightning bolt. Gargoyle's dead, so the monster thing moves up. I only have to kill two more monsters, and this is over. So, uh, in the beginning it was awful, because I was just like, I'm going to go over here and try to kill just the few monster tokens here, and let everything else just sit. But then I drew an encounter card that I couldn't negate, and it sent Emerald over here, which flipped over three tiles, or three monster tiles, and it was just a huge mess over there. I think on this tile at one point he killed about five or six monsters with one, uh, what was that called? Yeah, it was a fire, he used the fireball then, but he got a treasure that flipped it back, so, so that was ridiculous. Anyway, he finished his attack, so the next thing is to move a monster a monster token. So let's move this one here. And then the skeleton, oh no, sorry, encounter because I didn't explore. 
You must discard one of your treasure cards. Ooh. I can negate. Let's see, I've got six, seven, eight, nine. I'm one short on being able to negate two. I kinda. I, I think I'll let it slide. I'll let it go and discard the ring of accuracy. Just because something bad might come up and my guys are running kinda low on life. I do have one healing surge left, so. Anyway. The skeleton now activates. He will move one because he's not within range of anything. He hits his otherwise condition. It is now Thorgrim's turn. So he will move one, two, three. Good. Uh, I don't want to put him next to it because I think, well, yeah, Lamp, yeah, I'll put him next to it because Healing Strike gives me a little bit better attack, and I get the uh, Magic Sword. So, uh, actually the Gargoyle died, so I do have enough experience to negate too. But whatever, whatever. I moved here, one monster flips. What could it be? Oh my gosh, it's a Gargoyle. Alright, so Thorgrim, you have one attack. How about you attack the thing you can kill? Let's attack the skeleton. Well, this is Thorgrim we're talking about, so. Regrum to Healing Strike. And of course it's a one. Man, Thorgrim, you are awful at rolling in critical times. So, he... That's the end of his turn, his hero phase. So, move a monster tile. I'll move this one here. Then... Encounter card. Whenever the active hero ends his turn on a tile, I think I will let this one slide. I'll let it go, and hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. I can't keep, I can't end my hero phase on the tile with another hero, or else he, the active hero takes a damage. So that was the event or the encounter. Now the gargoyle is going to attack Thorgrim. He only has three life left. The gargoyle can do two maximum. And it's doing the two maximum. And it slows Thorgrim. So Thorgrim is slowed. Now, it is Emerald's turn. And this is where it's going to get interesting. Because I only have to kill two monsters. If I'm here, I'd be one, two, three, so I could try to attack them. I kind of want to find out what these two monsters are, monster tokens are, because if they're weak things, then when I miss with Lightning Bolt, it would kill them automatically. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and end my movement there, and when I end it, these two will flip. Wow, four monsters come out. So, some good stuff probably going to happen. Skirmisher is one, Blazing Skeleton, Ghoul, and Zombie. So that is game because what I'm going to do, let me at least get the guys on the field to finish it out. Ghoul and Zombie. Ghoul and Zombie. So they're all here. And then I get to use my Lightning Bolt. It says attack one, two, or three monsters. Each monster can be within one tile of you. So I am going to attack the Skirmisher, the Zombie, and f first I'll attack the Blazing Skeleton just to see if I can kill him. I'd like to see that. Of course, I kill him. So he dies, I get the treasure. Uh, I, I got dazed, so I'm just going to daze the Gargoyle, I guess. So I have one monster to kill, and then I will choose the... Skirmisher, because he's been a jerk to me in some of these games, so I will roll it just whatever, 12, that's enough to kill it, and then for the zombie, 4 and 7 is 11, that kills it as well, so I killed all three, I only needed to kill two of the three, which I did, so I win. This one was very annoying with these monster token flippings. Uh, I, but the worst part was me being teleported over there. I had a strategy of just let Thorgrim come over here and fight these guys while Emerald picks them off with his uh, magic missile. But that 
got destroyed on turn one when he came over here, teleported, flipped all this stuff. Uh, I think he died. Yeah, he died at one point. Then Thorrim was able to wake, make his way back. Oh, there was one... Enc the encounter that killed him was the one that attacks three times and takes him off the board. So it attacked three times, killed him. I brought him back onto the board over here and s flipped a bunch of monster tokens. And then I used the, the fireball to kill them all. Thorgrim ran over here and was able to... Somewhere over here, they met up, and he was able to heal him after Emerald died a second time. So he brought him back to life. So it was a pretty good match. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record all of it, because I didn't know how it turned out. But you got to see the end. All right. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe. I will get more videos out to you. Uh, I, I've talked with Mickey, and we're planning some big stuff for the channel, so keep keep an eye out. You'll see some new stuff. I'll post. Keep you informed. Let other people know if they like games. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.